Welcome, avid viewers, to a riveting exploration into the opulent world of Terence C. Carson, where we unravel the layers of success, luxury, and accomplishment that define this multi-talented individual. Today, we embark on a journalistic journey to dissect the intricate facets of Terence C. Carson's life, from the dazzling digits of his net worth to the sleek curves of his collection of cars, and the grandeur of his mansion that stands as a testament to triumph. All the details you need are right here in this video. Let's dive in now. Terence C. Carson, also known as T.C. Carson, is an American actor, singer, dancer, and producer who has a net worth of $2 million. Terence C. Carson is best known for starring as Kyle Barker on the Fox series, Living Single. Terence C. Carson was born Terence Connor Carson on November 19, 1958, in Chicago, Illinois. He was raised by a single mother, and they lived in the Chicago Housing Authority's Leclerc Courts projects. Terence studied at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, where he majored in architecture and creative design and joined the Iota Phi Theta fraternity. Terence Carson marked his television debut in 1989 with the movie, A Mother's Courage, The Mary Thomas Story. His journey in the entertainment industry continued with roles in films like, Live in Large, 1991, and, Firehawk, 1993. Carson also took on the character Abednego, Jojo, Nabuli in the Fox series, Key West, 1993. The highlight of Carson's television career came from 1993 to 1998 when he portrayed Kyle Barker on Fox's, Living Single. Sharing the screen with Queen Latifah, Kim Coles, Erica Alexander, and Kim Fields. Despite being a series regular for the first four seasons, Carson's presence dwindled in the show's final season. It was later revealed that Carson's reduced screen time in the last season was a result of a salary dispute with the show's producers. The cast, including Carson, had long been advocating for fair compensation. Despite the success of Living Single on Fox, the actors, predominantly people of color, were not receiving comparable pay per episode when compared to their white counterparts in equally or less successful shows. Carson, who had been an advocate for the cast regarding their salary concerns, faced a clash with the producers over the issue. The disparity in earnings became glaringly apparent, especially when Friends, a popular show, started filming on the Warner Brothers lot right next door just a year after the debut of Living Single. In the initial season of Friends, each actor raked in $22,000 per episode, totaling approximately $540,000 for the season. This figure surged in the second season, with their earnings jumping to $40,000 per episode. While the exact figures for the living single actors during this period remain elusive, it's evident that they were not enjoying the same financial perks as their friends' counterparts. This discrepancy in compensation became a source of frustration for Terence Carson and his fellow cast members. The tipping point came in 1997 when the friends' cast successfully negotiated another raise elevating their per-episode earnings to a substantial $75,000. This translated to a staggering $1.9 million for the entire season. It's reasonable to infer that the living single actors were not enjoying such lucrative deals at this juncture. This growing disparity in salaries became the catalyst for T.C. Carson's discontent, culminating in tensions with the show's producers. The financial gap between the two shows had reached a point where it became untenable, leading to a clash that exposed the harsh realities of the entertainment industry. Particularly concerning pay inequity, speaking about the situation years later, Terence revealed, we were getting less all around. And then they created friends and gave them everything. Both shows were Warner Brothers. So to watch that, to be on our lot and to watch that, was really kind of a slap in the face. I think part of it is, even now, if you're African American, you shut your mouth and do the job. Don't ask questions, be happy that you have a job. My whole time on Living Single, I was happy I had a job. But I understood the importance of the job I had. I understood the importance of what these characters meant to my community. And so when I come to you with a problem, it's because of that, not because of ego. They looked at it as ego. Terence Carson's versatile career extends beyond acting, showcasing his talent in various realms of the entertainment industry. Not only has he left his mark in front of the camera, but he has also lent his voice to numerous films. Carson's filmography is diverse, including notable appearances in movies such as Gang Relations, 
1997. Relax, It's Just Sex, 1998. Her Married Lover, 1999. U571. 2000. And his portrayal of Eugene Dix in the 2003 horror film. Final Destination 2, which achieved significant success, grossing $91 million over its $26 million opening budget. His television journey is equally impressive, with guest starring roles on The Jamie Foxx Show and Half and Half. However, one of Carson's pivotal contributions came through his voice acting. Particularly in the Cartoon Network, Netflix, Disney series, Star Wars. The Clone Wars, where he not only voiced Mace Windu but also breathed life into several other characters. Carson's on-screen presence continued with a co-starring role alongside Cuba Gooding Jr., Matthew Lillard, and Sean Astin in the 2007 film, What Love Is. In 2019, Carson took on the character of Arthur Payne in Bounce's series, Last Call. His filmography in recent years is marked by diverse roles in films such as A Wesley Christmas, 2022, and Onyx the Fortuitous and the Talisman of Souls, 2023. Terence Carson's illustrious three-decade-long career in the entertainment industry has not only been marked by his captivating performances on screen but has also garnered him recognition and accolades in the realm of voice acting. A seasoned professional, Carson's contributions have earned him nominations for four behind-the-scenes voice actor awards, showcasing his prowess in bringing characters to life through his vocal talents. Furthermore, he shares the prestigious BTVA Audience Choice Voice Actor Award for Best Voice in a Television Series, Action, Drama, an honor he received alongside his co-stars in Star Wars, The Clone Wars, in 2013. With so much success, we see him leading a very comfortable life. Mansion in Chicago In early 2022, T.C. Carson made headlines in the real estate arena with his purchase of a luxurious apartment in Chicago for a staggering $1,200,000. This acquisition, as reported by the reputable real estate trading platform Redfin, provides a glimpse into the actor's taste for sophisticated living. Situated in Chicago, the apartment boasts an impressive total area of 3,501 square feet, featuring five bedrooms and four bathrooms. The allure of Avondale Park, equipped with an outdoor pool and a clubhouse, adds to the charm of the locale. Upon entering the residence, one is greeted by a capacious living room adorned with a gas fireplace, seamlessly transitioning into a bright and sunny dining room. The chef's kitchen stands out with its oversized island, soft close cabinets, KitchenAid stainless steel appliances, under cabinet lighting, pantry, and quartz countertops. An elegant adjoining family room enhances the entertainment potential of the space. The upper level of the apartment unfolds into a spacious master suite, complete with two walk-in closets and an ensuite bathroom featuring a skylight, enclosed toilet, freestanding bathtub, double vanity, and a separate shower with a full-body nozzle. Two additional well-appointed bedrooms and a full bathroom with a double vanity, bathtub, and linen closet complete the upper level. The lower level of the residence boasts impressive features, including comprehensive heating throughout. It houses a sizable entertainment room with a counter, a washroom, an ensuite fourth bedroom with a separate full bathroom equipped with a shower and ideal additional facility for guests. The lower level also includes a fifth bedroom or gym space. The space boasts 10-foot ceilings, hot water circulation, heat radiation, custom wine storage, hard walls, and low-maintenance turf, all complemented by white oak floors. The apartment is currently rented out by T.C. Carson for a noteworthy $7,000 per month. The fenced backyard, coupled with a two-car garage, contributes to the property's appeal. Noteworthy features include a one-of-a-kind backyard with an enclosed seating area and barbecue facilities, adding to the overall allure of this truly beautiful home. Charity Beyond the glitz and glamour of his acting career, Terence C. Carson distinguishes himself as a committed philanthropist. His support spans across various charities, with a particular focus on education, child welfare, and the arts. Carson's dedication to these causes reflects his desire to make a positive impact beyond the realms of Hollywood. The Enigma of Carson's Personal Life In stark contrast to his public philanthropic persona, Terence C. Carson maintains an air of mystery when it comes to his personal life. Notably, Carson is not married and is known for being a private individual who guards his personal information closely. The lack of publicly available details about his life has led to widespread speculation and rumors. 
One prevalent rumor circulating online suggests that Terence Carson may be gay. This speculation arises from Carson's deliberate choice to keep his dating history and personal relationships under wraps. As a private person, Carson refrains from commenting on any women he may have dated, leading to assumptions about his sexual orientation. Contrary to the unfounded rumors, sources close to Terence C. Carson affirm that he is a straightforward man who simply values his privacy. While the media remains unaware of Carson's dating history, he has unequivocally stated his preference for women in matters of love. Carson, having no spouse or children, maintains that his personal life is not open for public scrutiny. Thank you for watching the entire video. Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.